Um, this car, in fact, in the gears is faster than a Porsche Turbo, so it's also faster than most Ferraris. But um, having said that, it delivers its performance in a very lazy way um, because it's the combination of the lightweight plus a large capacity engine that means that you're probably using less revs than the Ferrari or the Porsche. A Morgan sports car is a driver's car. It's a car that um, brings a lot of pleasure to whoever's actually owning it and whoever's looking after it. The first Morgan prototype was a, a Morgan runabout and was actually built in 1909. So the company's almost as old as the car industry itself. In the UK, in the Edwardian era, there were many, many motor manufacturers. Almost everybody thought they could design a car. Now, there were some good engineers, of course, who were designing the better cars, and I think my grandfather was one of those. And I think the Morgan three-wheeler got more reliability awards than any other car of its time. Uh, and, uh, in fact, if you go to the factory, we've still got the, the records to prove it. My grandfather's three-wheeler design lasted an awful long time. It lasted from essentially 1910 right up till the Second World War. There were just a few built after the Second World War and they in fact all ended up in Australia. The introduction in 1936 of a four-wheeler Morgan marked the second phase, if you like, of the company's history. In fact, it won its class at Le Mans the first year it was actually announced and went on obviously up till the war to be one of the bigger sellers of the, the company history. My father was educated at Chelsea Engineering College, which gave him an engineering background. He actually joined the um, Royal Engineer, uh, managing vehicle workshops um, for the Army during the Second World War. So he was quite well qualified to run a car factory. And when he came back, we started exporting to Germany, we started exporting to France, and we then became very successful exporting to America, because the Americans love the English sports car, and the Morgan was the fastest, so it was winning all the races. When did you join the company? I joined the company in 1985. I had actually had a, another career. Um, I was actually involved in television news. But I decided to join the company um, because I'd always been very interested in cars. In fact, I'd done quite a bit of motor racing for the, uh, the company. What I wanted to do more than anything else was to get involved in the design, really, and engineering of the car. And ten years that I've spent there, I've been building up to designing a car for the Aero 8. Which is what we see here. Which is what we see here. How long does it take to design a car like this? Well, it, it's actually taken about four years in terms of the actual process of um, getting the car through all the relevant approvals and the crash tests and the emission standards and, the, uh, and all the various things that you have to do. The advantage of Morgan being independent is that we can actually go to the best possible supplier without any uh, pressure, if you like, Got to you. deal with a particular group. And it allows us to design our own aspects of the car. For example, nobody else has a dashboard like the Aero 8, whereas you look at some of the other luxury sports cars and you can actually identify quite large proportions of them that come from the donor vehicle. What can you do that the big guys can't do? allow people to watch their car being built. So they can actually come to the factory as well? They can. And they can see exactly what they're paying for. And they can talk, albeit, you know, without disturbing them too much, to the engineers and the craftsmen who are actually making the cars. How long does it take to make a car like this that you're sitting in right now? Well, this car takes approximately 15 days to make from start to finish. Customers seem to want something individual, they seem to want something different. Um, they obviously want the reliability, they obviously want the performance, but they then want something that's really their own 
Um, and when they come and see this car is built of solid English ash, right. it isn't veneer. Uh, when they sit in the seats and perhaps even see them being upholstered, um, when they actually drive the car and realize that it's unlike any other car in the world, then they do tend to get locked into a Morgan mythology, if you like. And, um, so you know, it's the like a Savile Row suit, basically. The car becomes one of the family. Where does your styling cue come from? The styling, I have to take uh, a bit of responsibility for, I'm afraid. I've Good been, or bad, right? I've been sketching Morgans for most of my life. Um, we did obviously have a group, a styling committee, and we decided that the car had to look very identifiably a Morgan. And what we kept as a result was the, the long flowing line from the centre of the front wheel down to the back wheel. But because it's a sports car, we also wanted to glue it down to the road to make it operate a bit like a vacuum cleaner, so it like sticks sticks down to the road on the corners. What, how... We achieved that with um, the splitter at the front, mm -hmm. which actually forces the air um, over the top of the car and pushes the air down on the front of the car. We also have a completely flat bottom and a slightly raised area at the back of the car, so the air does actually go out of the back of the car faster than it comes in the front, which has the effect, if you like, of pulling the down. car down onto the road. Do you Are these raced at all? These cars will be raced, and we have done an awful lot of design work at um, Miramax, which is the BMW test facility in the south of France. Um, there you can run the car at over 150 miles an hour for hours on end. Well, our German dealer in Stuttgart, she's quite a spirited lady, very attractive blonde, and she has always had a pink organ. And whenever I go out to visit her in Stuttgart, she always asks me if I'd like to drive. I always politely decline, saying, you, you, you drive, it's quite all right. But she does cut quite a dash in Germany in her big organ. 